morning. I've just left Patagonia, a couple of miles back maybe. I took an extra day off there just to rest, recuperate. I'm glad I did because it was a really nice place, really nice people. And I got to <coughs> I got to recharge all my stuff up again. The scary thing was I had it took me what nine hours just to recharge my battery pack, which is a bit scary. It's only a 10,000 milliamp one. Well, first off, I had to apologise for my sound on my last video. I know it wasn't up to what I usually like to produce, but the video, I mean, I know what was wrong now. I use an app called Filmic Pro, and I've been messing about with the settings before I set off from home. And for some reason, I'd lowered the volume on it, and I've not, not noticed. <coughs> but I knew about it, but the problem was, I took, it took me four hours to upload a 20 minute video to YouTube. The Wi-Fi was that slow in the, my accommodation as nice as it was <laughs> and that was gone midnight I just didn't have it I just didn't have time to refix the video and re-upload I just didn't have the time so it is what it is it's sorted now anyway Cross this creek because I'm, I'm bound to go over if I don't. Dry bed. One thing I will say that I have noticed really early on since I've been here is how friendly everybody is on trail. It's, it's not what I expected at all. I mean, everybody. I've just passed, well, I'm at about seven, I'm at about seven mile now, and I've passed two guys just out walking the dog and both of them stopped me asked me where oh you're doing the trail where are you from and do you need anything complete strangers but everybody's been the same it's fantastic a cool little story from the other day <coughs> I was I was on the trail and I came to a dirt dirt road like this can you I don't know if you can see you see this what I'm on now uh, I didn't know whether it went left right or whether the trail went left and then up. So I'm stood there with my map out. I mean, I'm not trying to figure out which way to go. Two mountain, two mountain <coughs> bikers came past. Elderly, you know, they weren't humans. They went by me, looked. Me straight away thought, what's he looking? <laughs> and uh, turned around and came back. He says, uh, oh, are you, uh, are you doing the trail? I says, yeah. He said, what's it like? This, this was day two, <laughs> or it might have been day two or three, I can't remember. I said, well, I've only just started, but so far, so good, you know. I'm really enjoying it, it's tough. He said, I'm looking at doing it myself one day. I said, well, you should, it's, you'll really enjoy it. I said, but the first day is a, it's a doozy, it's tough. You've got to climb up to 9,000 feet. You do another, I said, 3,000 foot climb. So that was it. He asked me my name. Oh, he that's it. He took a photo. He wanted a photograph. He said, can I, can I have a photograph? I went, well, I thought that was a bit strange, but yeah, whatever. So his, his mate took a photograph of me and this, me and this guy. So let me just stop here and stick my arm on it because it's a lot easier to talk when you... <sighs> Give me a minute as well. So anyway... I'm walking into Patagonia yesterday, not yesterday, a couple of days ago. And it's a three mile road walk, proper road, cars on it and all that, but there's no pavement or anything. So when a car comes, you just get off. Anyway, there's four cyclists coming towards me. So as they get close, obviously I get off the road. I'm carrying on walking with my head down. As, I'm, as, as they're coming past, they go, Alan, Alan. And my instant thought was, oh, the bloody hell. I thought somebody were out here on holiday. You know, that, what a coincidence, like somebody I knew back home was here on holiday. So I turned around and I thought, the bloody hell? It were these two guys, were the same two guys with, the, with two other friends. So they turned around, came back, and uh, we had another good chat. I said, what the, what are the odds? What are the two days apart, you know? So what are the odds bumping it's you two guys again? They said, oh, they say, hey man, you want some, do you need anything? Do you want some water? I said, no, I'm good. I said, I've only got two miles to go and I'm, I'm in Patagonia for the night. What about some food, do you want some snacks? I said, no, honestly, mate, I'm good. 
He says, uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'll give you my number in case you, uh, if you need anything in the future, you can give me a ring. I said, honestly, mate, no, thank you, but I'm going to be fine. I'm all right, honestly. And, uh, and then I says, well, look, it's my turn to have a photograph taken with you guys now, and this is the shot, right? So, yeah, cool story and really nice people. I'm loving it. I'm looking forward to visiting Kentucky Camp. That looks a cool place. I've seen that on the video. Utah, 734 more miles to go. Yeah, we got this. What a gorgeous view. That is just stunning. Now, if you see that, at that point of mountain, right in the middle of the picture now, right in the distance, the bottom of there is, like I said before, it's the same mountain. Bottom of there is Patagonia. That is literally where I've come from this morning, the bottom of that mountain, and got this far. I'm at about 14 miles for the day. And I'm halfway up a bloody great mountain and it's, <laughs> it's, it's not easy. I've just stopped for a quick drink of water and then I'm gonna carry on to get to that next water source at 15 mile. Right. Well, like I say, I've just managed to get up this two and a half thousand foot climb to this saddle. It's red hot, it's about, uh, I'm not sure, half past one round there. <laughs> My next water source, or should I say my first water source, because I've carried enough water to get me to this one, it's um, 1.6 mile from here, mile and a half, and it's all downhill. So I'm going to go there, and then I'm going to top up my water supplies, fill it all up. Uh, I'll probably cam all up as well, and then I'll see where I am. But um, I don't, I was, I, well, like I say, I was going to stop that side the bottom of the mountain and hit this in the morning but I've just felt so good today I don't know whether it's that day and a half rest I don't know I really don't know but it's this has been one of the best days I've ever had on any trail I, I, I feel great and this the some of the scenery is stunning really really stunning I've actually sat and took five or ten minutes where I don't I just usually crack on but halfway up here I had to stop and I, well you'll see on video it, ugh. You can actually see Patagonia. I don't think you'll pick it up on the film, but but I could actually see where, where I was, and it, it looks miles, it's only 14 miles. But... So when I get to the uh, the water to source, that's 15.6 mile, 15 and a half mile. So that's a really good day to say I've come up, up like I say, up and down 2,500 foot. But I'm going to water up, camel up, and then I'm going to probably push on and just to see how far I can get today. There's no point in putting my tent up now. It's going to be like an oven by the time I want to sleep in it. Um, you put your tent up in this heat, so usually around five o'clock you pack, you know, you start, you stop your talk, stop your walk rather, and uh, put, start putting your tent up then. So, right, I'll probably catch up with you at the water source. To that mountain range in the distance I don't know whether that's uh, where I'm heading because I've not got my map out but Arizona is well known for well southern Arizona especially is known for its sky islands and that's what they're called 
you'll get a real flat piece of desert that there is the Sonora Desert you get a flat or flattish piece of desert and then 10 or 12 20 miles across it you'll get a mountain range and that's what that is and uh, like I say Arizona is known for it you can see there's one over there look in the distance you see that one right over there there's a few and then if you come back here there's another one right in the distance over there look all good fun Just listen to that sound. Can you hear that? That is lifeblood. I've come 15 miles for that and I'm about half a litre left. There was supposed to be a really good water source about half a mile back and it was bone dry. I'm starting to panic because if this was the no water here, I'm in big trouble. But thankfully, oh, I can fill up. Let's get on with it. Definitely where I'm headed, out there. I reckon that'll be warm for the next couple of days. Not much shelter out there. Look at this for the camp spot. It's half past five. I was going to push it another half mile just to get to like a trailhead hoping there'd be a flat area but oh my goodness that is just absolutely perfect look it's been used a good few times that's why it's all bare not even that I've even got a water source there look and I'm just hoping because <laughs> I'm weird like that that nobody else turns up and starts camping around me there's even a fire pit so it's used regular but like I say, it's half past five, so and I've not seen anybody all day except for those two dog walkers this morning, so I'm not expecting anybody to turn up. Great stuff. That's my tent up. Not a breath of wind. I hope it stays like this. I might, I might actually get a full night's sleep for a change if it's keep, the wind keeps off, but... Yeah, I'm well happy with this spot. 19 mile I've done today. I've just had a quick look on my map. Uh, if I'd have pushed onto that next spot like I was going to, it would have just been about a 20, but I'm not interested in numbers at the minute, I just need to uh, concentrate on what I'm doing. But I've had a really good day, my energy levels have been unbelievable, like I say I've done 19 mile, that's up and over a 2,500 foot uh, hill, so, well not a hill, it's a mountain, but yeah, great, I'm really happy, day's gone great, I couldn't be happier in fact, looking forward to work. To, uh, a long day tomorrow. I think I'm going to put a 20 odd in tomorrow because it's quite flat, so we'll see. See you later. Well, that's been definitely my coldest night so far on this trip. Damn, it got cold. I must have woke up easy 15 or 20 times. And I'm figuring out what the hell's... I thought there was something wrong with my sleeping bag or my system. Anyway, I've got up, finally got up this morning and there's ice all over inside of the tent. My little water bottle, that were all frozen, I've had to redo all that. It's a weird place this year, red hot during the day, looking at getting sunstroke and at night you're looking to freeze to death if you don't get all wrapped up. So tonight, I think I'm putting everything on and if I get to what, I'll just take it off. Because it wasn't comfortable at all. This is a good example of the Sky Islands I mentioned earlier, particularly to southern Arizona. That's the one I've just crossed. I've just come up and over that yesterday. You see the high point there, just to the left you see a saddle, I came up and over that. And then you've got, right over there in the distance there's another Sky Island look. And then you've got, you've got one there in the distance obviously. You've got a smaller one there. 
and then you've got a larger one there and then you've got one in the distance there and then you've got one there that's pretty particular for this sort of area Guys, would you look at this? Wow. I'm really suffering, well not suffering, but I'm, it's been hot, it's been grindy, it's been really pebbly and rocky, I'm absolutely knackered and the last two water sources have been bone dry and I'm really struggling and I was starting to panic a little bit. I've got a litre and a half left and I've got a right trek to the next water source. That's even if it's wet. The last two, like I say, have been dry. Now I've mentioned trail angels before. Man, I'm just speechless. People out of the goodness of their heart have come out here and left all this stuff for, oh, it says there, look, AZT through hikers. So basically you just help yourself. Look at all this water. Not only have they left all that, they left a rubbish thing, look, so I can put my trash in. And there's a goddamn, look, they've left chairs. I'm going to have a sit down and a drink. First off, I'm not hungry because I'm, I'm walking, so I'm, I'm never hungry when I'm walking, but I'll just give it. Oh, look, bless them. People have signed it, look. I'll be signing that. Oh, I think this is a cooler. God damn, look at that. There's apple pie, chocolate biscuits. Oh, bless them. How cool is that? Another cooler here, look. God, poached eggs, bananas, cans of pop. Oh, Jesus Christ. Apple. Oh, I'm going to have an apple. I'm having an apple. And in here there'll be... I'm not sure how to open all this. Oh, blessed. There's everything in there that you usually need. That you Pens. Lighters, lip lip thingy, toothbrushes, toothpaste, duct tape, safety pill. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's like a little shop. Man, how cool is that? Thank you so much. Whoever did this for us daft buggers that are hiking out here and that. Oh, man. Wow. I've not done a great deal of filming today mainly because yeah, it's been a bit windy again and the terrain is pretty much exactly what you can see here I'm about 17 miles in for the day and I've just been going through this up down up down up down up down been a bit of a bit of a knee banger but what do you do my campsite for tonight Lovely spot. I hope it stays nice and calm like this. It's bound to get cold though. Right, I'm hitting about, I've not sat and worked it all out, but it's about 21, 22 miles for today, so I'm happy with that. See you in the morning.
Good morning. Decided to have a quick uh, break just to top up my water bottle from my main my main stash. Uh, I'm about three mile in for the day. I'm at about 94 mile of the whole journey. My next water my next water source is about another five mile ahead, which I really need. Uh, it's a reliable one by all accounts, so I'm going to stash up. Uh, fill my bottles and stuff because my next source after that is another 13 mile away and that's as far as I'm going to go now if I can get that far uh, that's going to be a 21 mile day which is a, a tough day This is better trail. Get my skates on here. And that is my next water source. Boy, am I ready for this one. Right guys, I am gonna sit here and I'm not moving until I've drank every bit of water that I've got. Cause just there, as you've just seen that video with the little bird, I've got all the water I want. And what I've got, I've got about, I must have nearly, I know these are a litre and a half bottles these so I've got that one and I've got that one now if you notice this one uh, it's got it's, it's discoloured well what I do you can buy these things over here uh, they're called propel and you put them in your water and it adds flavour also it adds electrolytes as well and they're quite cheap actually but they taste absolutely lovely they really do because some of this water as you can imagine it's especially this stagnant stuff. The, the, if you get the water out of the creek, it tastes all right, it's really fresh, but like I said, the stagnant stuff, maybe not so good. And this, this, this propel that you can put in your, tastes really nice, and it also adds electrolytes as well, so you get more bang for your buck. Right, I'm gonna come up, I'll see you soon. So that's my last water stop of the day. It's now quarter past 12 afternoon, obviously. Uh, I've just took three liters from here, that should get me to my last destination, which is Cienega Creek, which is where I'm hoping to camp tonight. There's supposed to be a storm coming in uh, around nine o'clock. I don't know whether I've mentioned that before or not. But anyway, it's quarter past 12. I've got 13 more miles to go, which will give me a 21 mile day. Okay, I can do a little piece to camera because the trail's not too bad here. It's flat, it's not too pebbly. I've just watered up. I must have drank, I must have drank a litre and a half just to camel up. I've got a belly like Ian Gracie at minute. Honestly, it's wobbling all over. But anyway, I've got, there's supposed to be, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, there's supposed to be a storm starting tonight. Uh, and there's, do you know this is the first time in about four days that there's actually clouds up there so maybe they are right but anyway there's supposed to be a storm started about nine o'clock tonight so i'm trying to get to a place called Cienega creek which is it's my next water stop it's 13 mile and it's not it's about half past 12. <coughs> the reason i want to get there is it looks quite flat and i think there's some trees but there's definitely clouds forming here uh, so I'd like to get there just to sort of hunker down for the night in case the storm does hit at least I might have some a bit of a uh, a bit of cover I've certainly got I've no cover out here I'll just see if you can you can see those behind me there's some clouds starting to form not many I don't know whether you can see them or not. Right, I shall catch you later. That there is prickly pear. Now, uh, you have to forgive the wind up here because I'm on the top of a hill, but I've got my mic in and the muffler on, so it shouldn't be too bad. Now, prickly pear, back in the day, I used to play a game on the PS3 when my grandson's called Red Dead Redemption. And we, <laughs> me and my grandson's in the game, we used to run through this with our guns out shooting bad guys. <laughs> and on horseback as well well Jamieson 
this is reality my friend just look at them yeah you ain't running through this brother <laughs> not in a month of Sundays are you running through this well I guess there are people that are really like to run through that but uh, well I'm not one of them <laughs> look at these Ocotillo aren't they beautiful how tall the damn things are there's quite a few around here they're really abundant as you can see now these are really cool plant I'll, I'll go into a bit more detail later it's a bit windy right now but just look at the gorgeous colors of it all beautiful I think it's my favorite plant so far is that like I say it's got a really unique feature that I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go in later go into it later Now this is a long tunnel. Well, let's have a look. Well, I don't know whether you can see that, but over there there's a hell of a storm brewing. Look, I think it's kicking it down with rain already. Now, with a bit of luck, that might just miss me because the wind's blowing literally across the front of me here. The wind for me is coming from over there, look, where the damn sun is. And as yet, that's pretty clear, look, across there. But that is not looking good. And that is the first time since I've been here I've actually had a chance to watch the sun set. Not that I'm going to stay out much longer because, like I say, that rain, I think, and that wind is on its way. Catch you tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully. again well the storm that was supposed to materialize didn't quite it did rain last night so hopefully that will make uh, my water sources easy to find uh, the wind wasn't bad at all it didn't wake me up but to be fair I did sleep with my earplugs in uh, so no I've had a really good sleep I've slept about 11 hours to be honest I'm usually up and gone by now it's about quarter past seven so but I'm in no hurry because I've only got six miles to go. I've really pushed it the last couple of miles. Well, a couple of days. I've done 61 mile in three days. Now I've only got another six to do and I'm at Colossal Cave, but I'll, uh, I'll explain all that later when I'm on the move. Good morning, <coughs> again. Well, I just give you, thought I'd give you a quick heads up what my plans are for today, or well, the next couple of days, actually. Uh, Get my breath. I did. I was looking at doing a 21 mile yesterday to see an eager creek, like I said, because it's got it was a good water source, it was a creek. You'll have seen it, I've passed through it, you'll have seen it on my video a little bit earlier. Now that was 21 mile from where I camped to the night before. And I got there, there's a big sign saying no camping. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I was 21 miles in, six o'clock I was shattered. So I got my maps out, had a quick look. Excuse me. Had a quick look. Couldn't see anything. <laughs> so I thought, well, I'm just gonna have to push on. So I pushed on. Anyway, eventually, you saw where I camped. I found that just by looking around in the scrub. 
and that was at 22 and a half mile so I've done 62 and a half mile not 61 and a half in the last three days the reason I've been pushing so much is I sent a resupply box full of food and other bits and pieces to a place called Colossal Cave which is a bit of a tourist attraction obviously it's a cave from when I was in Tucson because there's nowhere else to resupply really you can go into Vail but that's like an eight mile round trip I think I mentioned earlier about uh, coming into Saguaro National Park shortly just start seeing some saguaro cactus coming at these they're starting to get more regular now right that is colossal cave let's go and see if i can recharge my phone and get my pickup that is my resupply box i've just picked up from colossal cave there's about this is about a week's worth of food in there way too much for what i need i'm gonna have to give it i'm gonna have to give some away so this is my camp for tonight really good i mean it's cost me ten dollars but who cares i've actually got a bench look how about that oh, oh there's even a pit toilet over there so there's a tap i think you guess you've just seen me doing my socks there's my socks drying there look on the rocks i'm just about to do my dinner this will be the first dinner I've had, to be honest. I'll just make do with biscuits, but I've had a really short day today, charging my phone up and what have you. So, yeah, I've only done about six or seven miles. And that's about it.